Hi, welcome to Data Engineering. So today we are going to discuss about how to start BigQuery practical. So I have already made a video about BigQuery introduction and then BigQuery architecture. And uh, I have given the playlist link in the description box of this video where you can find all the BigQuery videos. Okay, so today how to get start with BigQuery practical. And probably many of you will have a question like this is a cloud service, a Google cloud service. So for any Google cloud service, whether it is free to use or we have to pay something. It's a generally there even if we go for AWS or Google Cloud or Azure, people will have this question. But if you take any cloud sellers, for example, Google Cloud, they'll give you some free credits of usage. So if you take Google Cloud, they are giving $200 worth of credits for free. You can use any Google related services, whichever they mentioned it as a free tier one, you can use it and BigQuery comes under that. So that means you can create a Google Cloud account. It's a, it's a general, so you don't want to, you don't need any kind of a reference or something. It's a self-explanatory steps for creating an account directly. You go for Google Cloud login and then it, you can just fill your details and you can create an account. All you need is a Gmail, that's it. And finally, it will ask you to uh, uh, give some debit card details. So I'll always used to say go with debit card details. So that is for just enabling your payment even though it is free credit still they used to ask for this card information so this this information like at least with respect to india so auto debit will not happen so only when you acknowledge for example you are using free tier account and unfortunately you have exceeded the limit and there is some 100 or 200 rupees billing has happened in inr i'm speaking so only when you make the action of payment only then it will be get uh, debited from your account else it won't Okay, so if you are not paying the bill, then they will close your Google account, Google Cloud account. That's it. Okay, but still it is less risk. You can play with it. And there is an another option. There is something called Google BigQuery Sandbox, the first one. So you can access this BigQuery through the sandbox without enabling the billing. That means you don't want to enable the billing by giving your card information, nothing. Only Google BigQuery you can use via the sandbox, only this. So you don't want to worry about any building or something. So this Google uh, sandbox, like it has some limitation, but just make sure like your requirement is fulfilled by BigQuery, at least for that level of check, you can just go ahead and do it or for learning purpose, you can practice something. So either you can go for sandbox if you are going to use only BigQuery or you, are, you want to explore all other services, then please go by creating a Google Cloud account. Now, this is a link. Just copy this link. This is a BigQuery link. So now what I'm going to do is, now I'll go to my browser. So now I'll go to my browser, I'll just paste this link. So I just imagine, it's I have a Gmail logged in, but I don't have any account, any Google account, Google Cloud account, nothing. So I'm, I'm just going with the first option sandbox for this. There is no prerequisite, like you have to create a Google Cloud account first, nothing like that. Just go this, go to this link. So you, for now you have just the Gmail with you and now you are logging with this account, you will be seeing this page, like a welcome to your account. So here you choose your country and then just tick this, agree and continue. Now, what is the next thing you have to do is, you have to go for create project. So here you give any project name, and then just leave it with this no organization and then create. Okay, now it says welcome to BigQuery in Cloud Console. Yes, you click done. And you can see here sandbox. So now you are using sandbox. So next it is asking set up building to upgrade for full BigQuery experience, but that is not required. So you don't want to enable the building for now. And if you see in the top right, you could see $300. Okay, sorry, I said it is $200 dollar credit they actually they are giving you 300 dollar worth of credit for free you can use till that limit okay so now sandbox is free okay so for sandbox you don't want to enable building nothing is required sandbox is free with some limitations so this is how your uh, front uh, uh, ui will be for bigquery and where you can start querying it so here you can see 
untitled page where you can start writing your queries and here in the left hand side you will be seeing your all data sets so when i say data set in bigquery database is called data set so within data set we will be having all the tables okay so they, they, there is some free uh, available data sets which is already provided by google so you can use that actually yeah, so now you can search for Google BigQuery's public data set, so which is already available. So you can use for testing purpose. So just type for BigQuery. So you will be seeing something like BigQuery iPhone public iPhone data. You can just click star. So this is a default uh, data set which is already available. So data set, as I told you, is nothing but database. So you can even you can create your own databases too. So first we first we can see like uh, the existing data sets. So when you toggle it, so you will be seeing the different uh, tables you can able to see here. Okay, so now uh, let me go with this. So if you just double click, you will be seeing the data set information. So within this data set, you will be seeing GA session. Just double click this. Yeah, so this is actually a table. Okay, so you can able to see this. So the list of columns and everything. So now let's go for the query editor. So this is the table structure you can able to see for the GA underscore sessions. So now you click this query in new tab. So when you click it, you can see automatically the select structure has been created by the BigQuery. So now you can just change the limit just to 10 and then you can select and run this job. <coughs> okay. So you will be getting the result. You can able to see that in the console here. So like that you have some other tables also. If you want, you can have a look on these tables as well. So these are like test tables where you can do some joins and some practicals you can do with this. So we can also see how to create a table and how to create a data set. Like what I said, data set is all about the database, right? In the next video. So here it's it's all about just to kickstart the BigQuery with the existing public data set, which is available in BigQuery already, right? So thanks for watching. So please do subscribe my channel and forward this to your friends and colleagues and we do have lot of cloud BigQuery videos. Not only that, I do have more than 100 plus big data videos and that playlist uh, link also I have shared in the description box and I do have AWS, Java, Python, Scala and so many other videos. Just have a look. Thanks for watching. I have also started a new channel called Only Digital Guys completely for digital marketing purpose. So if you are interested, please do subscribe that channel as well. Thanks for watching.